Welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. I want to show you a very simple and efficient analysis tools which may help you a lot for the manufacturing purposes. This part which you see on the screen has already been aligned, like this one. And what I will do quickly will create uh, a couple of primitives using the extract primitives. We'll pick this plane. This is the process which normally you would do just by clicking and extracting planes and cylinders and so on. I get this cylinder which comes on the screen and press create. Now I very quickly will extend this and make it bigger and will create my solid by selecting everything and will trim. In this way you can reconstruct uh, your solid which you can export to other packages. Now what is the problem is what we call manufacturability and for this reason we introduce in the analysis a function called striteness and I'm going to explain what this means and what is the color about. When you, if you want to export this for the machines you probably want to have um, all the measurements to the, to the certain precision for example, two decimal places or three decimal places. And you can adjust these parameters here and for your project. For example, the positioning would mean that if we place the cylinder or we have a sphere or the plane offset from the origin or between each, each other, it's with the accuracy of three digits after the, um, the dot. And for example, if I want to manufacture it, probably two digits should be absolutely enough and I don't want any more. The tilt angle is if we have a plane and we compare to the other standard orientations, if it's um, enough. For example here, I want everything to be tilted with the accuracy of zero digits, which means that it needs to be absolutely parallel or it needs to be um, just for a 30 degrees for example or 40 degrees on 35 and the diameter it's obviously when you have a cylindrical objects or uh, cones or spheres you know, want the radius to be as accurate as you specified in this case I know that my machine can understand up to 0 0.53 millimeters and so on so then you see a color presentation on of the surfaces of your model and some of them are green and the others are orange. What this means is that if I hover on top of it, it will just give me some information about the display. Now it says it's an offset, it's a zero millimeter, and the degree is uh, good enough. If I just get to the cylindrical face, you see that it uh, gives us a warning. So in this case, what I need to do is probably go and edit my cylinder. I can see that the direction is not good enough, so I can place it absolutely parallel to the closest axis, like this one. And the diameter, probably I need to make it 20 here, and press apply. Then again, if I go to straightness analysis, I can see that, again, it gives me a warning that the position of the cylinder is very really weird and I can go and edit again and now I can place this to the um, base point to something more specific like this one and press apply. Now if I go to analysis I get everything in green. What about this top plane? It's the offset of origin is weird, it's tilted so I'll go and edit my plane. We we'll align it to be perfectly parallel to the bottom axis and I see the offset probably needs to be 65 instead of it. So in this way it gives you a good indication of how your object is manufacturable. Now I'm quite happy and I can export this because everything is green. This tool is quite useful in many cases so it's a small thing that can help you to create a better manufacturable object. Thank you for watching.